Photoshop Actions are a really powerful option when you have tasks that you're repeating over and over again, and you don't want to necessarily do them one at a time. So let's say, for example, this image, I want to convert to black and white or sepia or do something like that to it or some kind of extreme contrast. I can then perform the action, record it, and then batch process on a whole bunch of other images. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So to get to your actions over here on the right, you should have this option here, actions. If you don't, go to windows and then actions, that'll pull it up for you. You've got multiple folders in there. You might not have too many if you haven't done this before, but I've got a bunch. I've also downloaded a few. And um, this is where your actions are gonna be saved. When you want to perform an action, you would then select it, click on it, and then hit the little play icon here. And it's going to then perform the action. And in this case, it's just gonna do a vignette for me. And there we go. So a really extreme vignette because I didn't make any of the adjustments. Now, let's record an action. A couple things you can do before recording. You can hit this little folder icon if you wanna create a folder similar to what I have here. Or if you don't and you just wanna put it into one of the existing folders, click this little icon here, and that's going to create a new action. And we'll name this Demo Sepia. I'm going to use a sepia toning because it's quick and easy to do for the purpose of this tutorial. So I can decide which folder I want it in. Do I want it in my default actions? Do I want it in my most used? Or do I want it in a new one that I might have created? I'm just going to go with default. You can assign a function key to it if you want, if this is something that you perform regularly. And you can put a collar on it as well to distinguish it from other stuff in your action sets. Once you've decided on that, hit record. Now what it's doing is it's going to start recording everything I do on the screen here. So I'm gonna real quickly turn this into a sepia tone. And I'm not gonna show you how to do this because if you wanna learn how to do a sepia tone, I've got another video on this channel. I'm just doing it for the purpose of capturing something on the screen that this will record. Okay, now I've done a quick sepia toning on here. Uh, it's not the best sepia tone, but you get the point that it's recording the actions that I performed while doing that sepia toning. It's still recording. Well, I don't want it to keep recording, so I'm gonna hit stop. And now it has saved that action. Okay, so let's take this image. Let's switch back to where it was that color image. I'm gonna go back to my actions. I'm gonna select at the top here. Uh, so make sure you're not selecting down a bit lower or anything like that, like because basically you'd be step selecting ahead on one of the steps. And I'm gonna hit the play button, and now it performed all those actions. All right, and that's basically how you record an action. You can batch process this. I'm gonna link to my video below, which will show you how to batch process this in Photoshop as well as Bridge.